this isn't one of those videos where someone's talking about going back to school and then suddenly they get punched in the face. It's not one of those videos. Going back to school was always a problem for me. Whether it was middle school, elementary, high school, or even college, I was not very good at preparing myself. Specifically, let me talk about the days before school actually started. For me, I don't know if anyone's like this, but I suffer from severe, crazy nervousness, excitement, hatred, emotional thing when you're in your bed and you're trying to go to sleep because you need sleep for your next day of school. You're gonna wake up early and you have that mindset. It's like, gee, I need sleep. <laughs> you're in bed and you can't go to sleep. And that's why the next morning you're just... As a little kid, you have more energy and you can just wake up in the morning before anyone else. Nowadays, um, not so much. You wake up feeling like a zombie. If you're a commuter and you have morning classes in college, that is the worst combination because not only do you have to wake up earlier than, say, someone would dorm there that will take five minutes to walk to their classrooms, you have to walk in there mm, looking like a zombie and trying to fight that feeling of sleeping on the train or bus or wherever you are, don't sleep in the car. Now, in elementary, your biggest worries are, you know, <laughs> what's for lunch? Uh, when we have half days, and I hope I have a good progress report, or my mom's not gonna buy me that new dinosaur toy thing. And you know, elementary, you know, you go, you prepare yourself for the for that day when it comes to the first day of school. I have breakfast in the morning. I'm good. I just put on my clothes, my ugly white collar T-shirt, and my navy blue pants. Some things change. Some things stay the same. For me, I was a huge nerd and geek in elementary, middle school, and things were... lame. But moving on, high school was a really new stuff for me, and I bet it was a lot of new th things for everyone to start a new, fresh year in a different school with different people. Specifically, my high school has suffered from some problems. My high school made us wear this really funky looking uniform. Well, other high schools, like, down the block from us would have, you know, wear whatever they want. Our high school, we had to wear maroon collared shirts. No. <laughs> Let me see if I can find any. I didn't find any shirts with a collar, but I found the next best thing. This is the actual uh, sweatshirt, I think. Long sleeve. Long sleeve. So not only would you have to wear the maroon shirt, you'd also have to wear the lanyard along with you at all times. But we all know we wouldn't wear the lanyard because we would just do that and put it in our pockets. And finally, we arrived to college. College is a huge responsibility. <laughs> However, all these complications from college, it's kind of cool. For starters, I don't have to wear a uniform anymore. And if some people are dorming there, or commuters, and they want to wear pajamas or loose clothing with joggers and a hoodie because it's their morning classes and they just don't care, you're in college now, you can do anything. <laughs> Moving on, I'd just like to say that hopefully I can make a video every week, you, but however, you do know how college is, well at least some of us do, and we do know how tough it is with time constraints and all that junk. So with all that, good luck with everyone in your school year and have a great time and watch out for buffaloes and eat some bagels. Why am I doing that weird voice? Thanks for watching and adios. Lights up for Little Mac.